Hello there, this is Mike with Channel Master. And today I'm excited because I have the opportunity to walk through the complete setup of your new DVR Plus. From the point you open the box, get it connected to your television, and begin watching and recording your free live television. Let's get started. In this video, we will also cover the connection and setup of the wireless USB adapter, shown here, and a compatible external hard drive, like the one terabyte Seagate model you see here. First, let's take a look at what's included with the DVR Plus. When you open the box, you'll find the DVR receiver at the top. One thing you'll notice right away is how thin it is compared to any other DVR out there. Underneath, you'll find the power supply to the right. Here's a flyer which includes Channel Master tech support, contact information, a quick start guide, and finally, the bottom of remote control. The first step is to connect the cable from your TV antenna to the RF in port at the back of your DVR receiver. The next step is to connect the DVR Plus receiver to your TV using an HDMI cable. Plug one end of the cable into the port labeled HDMI at the back of the receiver. You'll then connect the other end of the cable into one of the HDMI ports on your television. It's now time to connect the power cord to the receiver and into a wall outlet. Next, turn on your TV and select the correct input. You can change the input on your TV by pressing either the input or source button on your TV remote. When you've selected the correct input, you should see the DVR Plus screen on your TV. Follow the on-screen setup wizard instructions using the OK and circular navigation buttons on the DVR Plus remote. This is where the DVR Plus will scan for all available over-the-air channels coming in from the antenna. This process typically takes anywhere from four to six minutes to complete. However, for the purposes of this video, we have sped up the channel scan process. After the channel scan, you'll see a screen which introduces the online apps available on the DVR Plus. What you see here will depend upon which software version is currently loaded on your DVR Plus. The next screen is where you'll input your zip code, your time zone, and preferred time setting. We suggest selecting the automatic setting at first. This can be changed in the settings menu later on if needed. We've now completed all the steps in the setup wizard of the DVR. You should now be able to watch and record live TV, access the program guide, and navigate the menu screens. And for those of you with the DVR Plus 16 gigabyte model, our next step will be to connect an external hard drive. Channel Master recommends using one of the external hard drives listed here. This list can be found on the DVR Plus product page at channelmaster.com. While many other external hard drives will work with DVR Plus, Channel Master cannot guarantee that all other external hard drives will be compatible besides the ones listed here. Connect your external hard drive into either one of the two USB ports found at the back of the receiver. It doesn't matter which. Shortly after the hard drive is connected, a pop-up window will appear on your screen indicating the DVR Plus has detected a USB storage device. It'll ask if you wish to install the external hard drive as the default DVR storage device. Click OK to confirm. When the external hard drive has been successfully installed, you should see this message appear on your screen. From this point forward, the external hard drive will store all your recorded content. For those of you with the DVR Plus 16 gigabyte model, you will now be able to pause, rewind, live TV, record two programs at the same time, and record significantly more hours of HD programming than before. Next, we want to connect the DVR Plus to the internet. For those of you interested in running a hardline internet cable to the receiver, the DVR Plus offers an Ethernet port at the back. We will walk through the process for connecting the DVR Plus to the internet wirelessly using the USB adapter. 
first step will be to plug the Wi-Fi adapter into the included extension cable, as shown. And the reason why it has an extension cable, it allows us more freedom to move the Wi-Fi adapter around in order to find the best possible Wi-Fi signal. The cable, the other end of the extension cable, plugs directly into the USB port at the back of the receiver. The DVR Plus will automatically recognize the Wi-Fi adapter once you've plugged it in. A message will appear asking to confirm setup. Click OK to continue, which will take you to the network setup screen. Here, the DVR Plus scans for all available Wi-Fi networks. Click OK on the Wi-Fi network that you prefer. It will then ask for your Wi-Fi password. Enter the password and then you should be connected to the internet. After you've confirmed the DVR Plus is connected to the internet, you'll want to check if any new software is available. You can do so by pressing Menu, scrolling down to Settings, then to Technical Info, then Software Updates, and finally check for Download. If a newer software version is available, you'll see this pop-up screen appear. Click OK to confirm the download of the software. This will cause your DVR Plus to restart before the download begins. Remain patient during the download process. It will take several minutes, and the length of time will depend upon the speed of your internet and the size of the download. For the sake of timing, we'll speed up that process for the video. After you've successfully downloaded the latest software update, it's time to add the free live internet channels. You do so by pulling up the program guide, scrolling up to Channel Master TV, and clicking OK. You'll then see this activate message appear. After you select activate and click OK, you'll see this message appear which includes an activation code and the website where you'll enter the code and activate the live internet channels on your DVR Plus. You have 15 minutes to write down the activation code, go to your computer, pull up channelmastertv.com, and enter the activation code into the website. After 15 minutes, the activation code expires. If this occurs, just click on Channel Master TV again in the program guide, and you'll receive a new code. Okay, here we are at channelmastertv.com. This is the website you'll visit to activate the free live internet channels. If it's your first time activating the free live internet channels on your DVR Plus, you'll find in the empty fields on the right side of the screen under where it says create your free Channel Master TV account. It just asks for your basic contact information, name, address, email, and at the bottom, ask for your activation code that the DVR Plus had provided. Within seconds after you select sign up, the following pop-up message will appear on your DVR Plus screen. This message confirms that the free live internet channels have been activated. From this point forward, the live internet channels will show up in your program guide above channel 200. You can pull them up by opening the program guide and clicking OK next to the channel you wish to watch. You can also navigate through the live internet channels using the up-down buttons on the remote. As you can see, the DVR Plus provides a seamless watching experience between the free over-the-air channels from the antenna and the free live internet channels. Okay, we have now completed the walkthrough of the DVR Plus installation and setup. My name is Mike, and thank you for watching.